What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to fix Windows 11 and Windows 10 Explorer and customize all of the um, options you wish Windows would have let you just customize to begin with. Before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed, and that's pretty bad numbers. If you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. Alright, so on to the video itself. Let's go ahead and open up... Um, the application. So essentially, this is the file explorer we know. I am on Windows 11 and I am going to download Explorer Patcher. So here is Explorer Patcher and it's going to look big and scary because it's on GitHub and they have <laughs> the GitHub UI. Uh, but we're just going to go to the releases right here on the right hand side. We can just click on that latest release and here it is. So more text, where do we do here? Uh, all we need to do is download the setup here. So EP setup, we'll click on that. And once it's done, if it gives you any, um, not a commonly downloaded file or anything like that, it's because it changes windows and it doesn't know if this is safe or not. Um, but this is a widely used uh, application as you can see from uh, the reacts and everything on just this release alone. So we're going to go ahead and allow this download. And if you have any questions about the code itself, you can actually go into the source code and see how everything was made. Uh, so we know it's fairly safe to that extent. Uh, in terms of crashing your computer, that's a different story. You know, changing a lot of these settings can cause uh, some stability issues, but it's not a malicious program. So let's go ahead and open that up. We'll click on run and we will click on run again. If a user account control pop-up comes up, just click on yes. Windows Explorer will close and reopen. Downloading symbols. Now, on the right hand side, you'll see that it's downloading uh, symbols and uh, gathering all the things that it needs to actually run properly. And we're gonna go ahead and click on start and type in Explorer Patcher and choose the properties. Now, here we have all these settings we can change. We can choose our taskbar style. We can choose our system tray, file explorer, start menu, all of this good stuff. Let's go ahead and start with our taskbar and see what that's like. So, for example, we have the Windows 11 taskbar style here. We can go ahead and customize this slightly and say, maybe the search box, I don't want it to be there, so hidden. And it's gone, just like that. Maybe I just want it to be an icon. Now it's an icon. Uh, so we can definitely change uh, things there. We can change the task view and uh, show and hide that. We can show and hide the widgets on the left-hand side. We can automatically hide the taskbar, just like the good old days. And then, of course, we have uh, system tray items we can customize and, of course, the file explorer itself. So you can disable the Windows 11 context menu, for example. So instead of seeing this uh, more rounded one where you have to click on show more options, we can just choose uh, disable Windows 11 context menu, restart file explorer. And then when we right click, we have the old style uh, context menu. Looks good. Similarly, you can disable some of the new features like the modern search bar in File Explorer as well. You can head over to your start menu and choose where you'd like it to be. So you can say at the screen edge on the left, just like Windows or or just like Windows 10 or at the center, which is default. You can also disable the recommended section when you click on start. Now I'll let you guys go ahead and go through these and see what other um, options you prefer or like uh, let me know in the comments what your favorites are but i thought this was really really cool um gives you a way to actually bring back some of that customization that you can do in the old windows versions and make it kind of feel more uh your own but yeah let me know what you think of this one and uh thanks for watching Conversations to games to interviews with a broader view. He keeps it fresh, always brings something new. It's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, huh? Mike the Tech, the architect, huh? Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech.